I was watching a film on my phone and I'm panicking. I'm like, that's called a park rangers. <laughs> I'm not joking either. You know, you're both old fellas. You could have been in a ditch somewhere, I don't know. So what you're saying is you love us. But I care, right? <laughs> love's, love's a bit strong, but I care. Welcome to the Busy Man's Guide with me, Mr. Paul Adams, and look, there's Steve and there's Richard and there's some other people as well. And it has been, it's been a long, long time since we've done anything like this, so apologies about the delay. We're here at Derwent Dams, uh, which is up in the Peak District near Sheffield, uh, near Bamford, actually. The sky is now looking pretty damn nice, and uh, Steve and I are hungry for breakfast because we haven't eaten yet, because because Steve lost his car keys. I'm late for store. That's what he's been telling everyone. Oh, anyway. natural habitat. So there we go. See, there's Steve. And um, yeah, he put me right off my stroke then. It was new. Um, so we're going we're gonna to head over and get some breakfast and then we're going to start doing this vlog. So uh, we'll see you in a bit. Please buy my breakfast then. <laughs> I am being attacked by a wasp that we picked up somewhere and he's managed to follow us around. So every now and again, I'll be Unagi. It's a really, really nice place to visit. Everything here, everything is beautiful. Well, nearly everything. <laughs> We were kind of over there a little while ago, not right over the other side, but we were kind of there, not there. And we made it all the way. And it doesn't look that much there, but it actually really is. And we've still got ways to go. There's the other part of the group. And we've got to go up there. Now, no offense to the other two here, but we're all three fat bastards. But Richard is fitter than us. What? You're not out of breath as much as we are. <laughs> so you may see that there's water on the lenses because I had to put the camera down and take my shelf. I'm absolutely dripping wet. I've told the others to move on up ahead because I am absolutely tired. But to be honest, I think they're grateful of that because they can stop and rest. Because we are definitely not as fit as the people that do regular hikes. But there you go, there's Steve and Richard. And the others are up there somewhere. So this would be fun. I've just got up there. And now, how how far we got to go? No, it should be yes. Twenty percent we are. We're 20%. percent <laughs> Right. I'm set up camp, guys. I'll catch you in two days. I've got a horrible feeling that those sheep might attack me. So I've lost everybody. They're all up ahead. Those sheep behind me, they weren't looking too happy. We've got that one over there as well. He doesn't look too happy. I can't actually see what's going on. Um, so I'm assuming that you can see me, but it's very peaceful up here and it's very nice. Um, but the only problem is, is that I can't see anyone. I've got no signal. <laughs> so if anything was to happen to me, well, I guess I'd be sheep fodder. Steve's got an alcohol problem. <laughs> <laughs> he can't hold his drink, obviously. <laughs> I haven't had alcohol for a while. One, two, three. Whose idea was it to have whiskey here? Oh, 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 oh. Jesus Christ, Steve. Oh. 
We're going to be drunk by the time we get out of there. That's quite a nice little flask, though, isn't it? It's cool. It's cool. I'm only seven ninety nine for that with the tumblers. Seven ninety nine. I'm becoming a bargain hunter. You're an alcoholic. Is what you are. Oh, come on. When have I ever had a flask with tumblers? Well, today. Now. This is the first time. I thought I'm not driving for a change. No, I've known alcoholics in my life, and I somewhere. I recognise them. So, if you are suffering from alcohol or anybody you know, call this number and drink responsibly. Re see, responsibly. Oh shit. So Steve is feeling a bit. I don't know what's going on. Alcohol has obviously helped him. Alcohol and Red Bull. Look at that. Go on, Steve. All the way. This has actually got steps, so it could be a bit easier for me. There you go. I think that's a little bit better. So <clears throat> let's see how far I get with counting the steps. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Yeah, I might give up on that. I am unfit. <clears throat> I have been working out and exercising, but every time I do it, I end up with an injury. Um, whew, it's a bit tight on the old calves and the quads and the thighs and my heels, my Achilles tendinopathy. I'm falling apart, I am. I think Steve's regretting running up the hill. Now, I'm purposely trying not to look to the top so that I don't see how far I've got to go. But, I have to, every so often. They're up there, you see. I told them not to wait for me, but they're waiting anyway. The problem with being unfit, which is usually my thing, or when I was a kid, it was being too small, is that by the time you've reached everybody who's having a rest already, because you're so far behind, they're ready to go, which is exactly what's happened now. So I'm standing here at the top, well, not even the top yet, uh, of this peak district. But basically, that's a beautiful sight. And I could stay here for hours. However, they're in a rush. <laughs> and I've got to get over there. If ever you tune into these vlogs thinking there's something like Pete McKinnon or uh, Gavin Hardcastle, or Thomas Heaton, or James Popsis, or any of that shower. Um, let me know that, or let me let you know that uh, this is nowhere near as polished as that, or as interesting, although that looks quite interesting there, doesn't it? If we look in there. But um, yeah, it's not as interesting as their vlogs, but uh, ah, I suppose it depends on what you're after, really. But yeah, Steve's nice enough to wait for me. That's nice. But now I'm all alone, all by myself. I'm used to that. And I kind of made it, because look at that. Richard's in there, taking pictures somewhere. It's an amazing, amazing place to be. Definitely worth the effort getting here. Wow, look at all this. It's, a, it's truly amazing. It's like an alien, alien, I don't know, alien habitat maybe. Look at that. Let's see if I can get it a little bit brighter for you as well. I'm having problems with my ND filter, so some of the sky will be blown out, but look at that. It's like an old western. Right here, in the Peak District, in England. It's great stuff. Look at all that, all that stone. 
Amazing. Why on earth would you want to go to another country to see all this? So we are pretty much at the top of where we were coming. I nearly gave up as well. But I mean, if you just look behind me, look at that view, these rocks. And then we've got these guys camped out on the rocks. And look at this, definitely worth the effort and all the pain that I went through to get here. Definitely worth it if you want to come up here. Now we've got another day of this tomorrow. Today is just like a taster. Today's the day we're dying. Yeah. A taster and a tester day. But look at all that. Look at that. It's amazing. Now this will freak my mum out. So, even more reason to do it. Ugh. If I fall, can you catch me? Ugh. Wow. What do you think? Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? Now I'm gonna be careful, because as you can see, there's some gaps down there. This is as far as I wanna go. This is like Lion King. Well, there you go, yeah, that does bring us to the end of the Busy Man's Guide with me, Mr. Paul Adams. We've had a good time. You have a good time, Rich? Very much so, mate. Can't be killing me. There's Steve. Hello. Go to my channel. Yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, I had to stop the vlog yesterday because I nearly died on the top of a hill. Uh, Steve and I got lost for a long time. Uh, Richard didn't have any signal and was really concerned about us, so he nearly called the park rangers to try and find us. Um, Steve and I even tried to get an Uber to, to get back to uh, to where we were because we couldn't get back. I, I literally couldn't move. My legs just seized up completely. Um, but eventually one of our team managed to uh, pick up a call and then come and pick us up and then take us back to Richard who wiped the floor with us really, to be honest with you. So we're actually heading back home to, uh, to Buckingham's here today um, because these two 
can't be asked to go and do any more <laughs> photos. And I'm looking out the window going, oh, I can't show you because it's, it's too bright, but like there's loads of mist coming down over these over these forestry areas and it's pretty nice. But we'll be back. We'll do something again soon. Um, hopefully you'll see the pictures that we took. And uh, till next time, stay sharp, stay focused and stay busy. And uh, we'll see you in probably about another six months.